So today we are working on a cedar shingle. So one of these little babies. And this one already has three coats of salvation solution on it and I'm still getting bleed through. So without using a hardware store shellac, because um, I'm doing these right here in the store and I don't really want that shellac stink in here. So I'm just gonna go with it. There's three coats on there. I'm still getting some bleed through, but I'm just gonna own it and continue on. So I have, this is the Roy Cycle decoupage paper. Uh, this is the baby animals. So there's a bunch I've already used. Um, it was some little chicks. I used those on a previous project. So I'm just kind of kind of debating on what I want to use here. Because I still don't know. But I'm kind of thinking it's going to be the bunnies. But I want to do a fun kind of background. And something a little bit different. So... I found these napkins and I think these are pretty darn awesome. They're bright. We're gonna give it a go. I think I used one of these years ago. I have this stash of, of napkins that I buy when um, I find something cute. So I think I'm just gonna go with these. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so let's separate this little beauty, if we can. It would help if I could see. And I think I got these napkins at Michael's or something like that. It would have to be Michael's or HomeSense. Maybe it was home scent. I don't remember anymore. Okay. I think I'm just going to go diagonal. So I've left these edges raw just because. I <clears throat> I like them like that. I like it when the edges are raw and you don't have to, uh, it gives you that little kind of an antique um, My brain gets sidetracked and then I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Just kind of gives you that raw edge. I'm just using a paintbrush, a small artist paintbrush, and I'm just wetting the line that I can see through the napkin. The line of where I've painted. So then this will just follow that. And when you tear it, you get a nice kind of a raw edge versus a cut edge. Which I like. I'm just going to continue along here. cutting the snapkin out. There we go. Okay, perfect. And that'll make a nice, easy background, I think. Now this is a lot thinner. These napkins are obviously a lot thinner than decoupage paper. So 
I'm gonna see how that's gonna work out. I'm gonna reuse my little dish here with my clear patina. And you can use any water-based, we've done, if you've been following me for a while, you can use any water-based clear coat for doing decoupage. Um, I have a couple favorites. So that is what I'm using. So you want to get a couple bitties in there. Nice, even, full coverage. Got my little piece of saran wrap here handy. Now this cedar shingle has some texture, which I just think is going to add some awesome character to this. And I'm just going to pull this back now and continue on. And it doesn't matter if you get it on the, on the edge. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, being careful because you don't want to tear this. Remember, this is a lot more delicate than your regular 18 pound tissue paper. I don't even know what the weight would be on a napkin. Not much. So it's pretty wrinkly, but that's okay. You can see. You can see those wrinkles in there. And it's looking like I can see a little bit of that bleed through there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So now put a coat of clear patina on the top to seal this in. Need a little bit more. Okay, now I want this to dry completely. I'm gonna go pop my brush in some water and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It's all dry. So I'm going to use this big bunny. So we are going to have to cut him out. So I'm just doing a rough cut here so I don't have to deal with all this paper. side okay so now actually I think I'm going to do this with a brush as well but I want a smaller brush and with a little bit of water here again and I'm just going to do a finer line kind of closer to the bunny himself and that will give me a more precise kind of fussy cut because cutting him out with scissors would not be fun 
So I'll just actually zoom you in here a little bit if I can. Oh, it won't let me. All right. I'm going to try harder. There we go. Okay. Gives you a little better, better idea. So you just wet it and because this background is white, it, you don't have to let that water sit there for very long. It kind of saturates and comes off right away. Okay, and I just want to clean up in here a little bit. Trying to be careful not to actually rip one of his cute little legs off. You don't have to be this picky. You can just leave these little spots and it'll probably be fine. I'm just being picky. Okay, so now he's all cut out. But what I wanna do first, I'll zoom you back out, is I want to put this little bunny here but I would like to put some kind of greens over here. So for that, let's put him aside so I don't get them all smushed. I've got the Whispering Willow transfer. I love this transfer for spring stuff. So and I've got a couple here. I've got two in my little stash that have been, bits have been used. So let's see if I can find a chunk. It's another bunny. 
I was kind of interested in these berries. Let's go see if I've got more in this one. This one's more complete. This transfer is also by Lexi Grenzer, who is the same artist who did the decoupage paper that we're working with. So it all kind of goes together, which is awesome. And I know there's a... I think I've used it already. I was looking for this, but I've used it. So now what am I going to use? Well, well, well. Maybe these greens. Let's just go with that for now. I keep my transfers in these. These are the old thin mounts. The bigger ones and the clear ones. And I use them for pockets to store my transfers in. So it's a tip for you. Okay, so if Bunny's gonna go here, I'm gonna wanna put some of these greens I'll just go with that. Okay, so I'm going to put this one and this one on here first. Grab my transfer stick. So this I want kind of right here. So let's hope I don't have any adhesion issues with this. The only reason why I'm a little worried is because of that bleed through. But hopefully I have enough coats. Hopefully I have enough coats on there now that it's going to stop being so difficult. Seems to be okay. So I'm just gently pulling up on the edge of the transfer, the backing paper of the transfer while I'm rubbing this down, making sure that the image is fully transferring down onto because see how that lifts up you don't want that to lift back up you want that to stick
Okay. Now I've got it right over the edge here. I'm just going to peel that off. And now I'm just going to burnish over this. Going to use my fingertips this time. You can also use this paper, shiny side up, kind of alleviates friction for you. I might want to put the same leaves over here. Now I'm changing my mind. I kind of like how those are looking. And I've got a bunch, so. with that. I am just going to cut along the edge of my board. There. And I'm still going to save these because you never know when you need little bits. Always try to rub over the entire design with my stick before I start peeling that backing paper off. And then I just pick a spot to start lifting that off. And you just go slow and make sure it's all coming off as you go. These are old cedar shingles that, old but not used. Um, I got, I ended up with a few bundles. And they are a struggle with bleed through. So I've worked with cedar before and never had that much trouble with it, but these shingles have been a little bit of a pain. One of these days, I'm going to buy some new ones and see if it's just that these were really old. Or is it just the way it is? Okay, now see, I pulled this up and there's still that little bit of leaf in there. I'm just going to lay this right back down again. And rub that on there. There we go. And now it is down. So don't panic if you lift up that backing sheet and you've got transfer stuck to it. Just put it back down and rub it on. Okay. So I've got a little bit of transfer over the edge here. 
and normally I would just fold it over, but I'm not going for that. So I'm just going to take a sanding block and I'm just going to sand that edge. And there you go. I'll just clean up this little one. There. See how that gave you that nice edge. Nice rustic rough edge actually. I like that. The green with the pink is looking super cute. Okay, so now this bunny I want to put them here, but see how you can, I don't know if you can really see, but you can see the paper through him. So when I wet him to put him down, that's only going to get worse. So what I'm going to do is this is just a sheet of plastic film. This is from actually the package that your transfer comes in. That's what this is from. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to lightly mist it with water. And then I'm going to put Mr. Bunny on it upside down. And what the water does is it just kind of holds him there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my, this is DIY's white swan, and I'm going to paint, I can find a brush, I'm going to paint the back of him with the white paint. So that's like your underpainting, like you, like I did with those boards with the with the cedar shingle itself, it's got that white background I painted on there. This is giving you the same, same result. You're underpainting to get a nice clear image of your bunny. And I'm going close to the edge, but I'm not being super picky because that will give you kind of a, kind of a raw edge as well without like a crisp line. This brush isn't ideal, but the one I want. My paper wasn't quite wet enough. You want your paper to be wet enough to hold him. This is layering your decoupage. That's my, my goal here. These little feet don't want to stick. And I thought as soon as I saw these little animals, it's kind of my thought for them is they would be Perfect for layering. Okay. So now I'm just going to move this little guy and bring this back and 
I've got my clear patina, but I was using water in here. So I'm just going to dab up that water so I can use the same. And so my bunny's going kind of here. So I'm just going to put clear patina in this whole area. And that's perfectly fine to go over your transfer because it's going to seal your transfer in at the same time. Okay, then you just grab your little bunny. And now in this case, you can just use this paper or this plastic, sorry, to smooth him down. You can still use your little piece of saran wrap if you feel better about rubbing it in. Just be careful because it might be a little bit grippy. And then peel that paper up and there you go. And now see how you can't see through him. So the, the leaves are behind him, the decoupage paper is behind him, but you can't see any of that. You can save your, your paper if you want. And now I'm just going to gently brush over him to seal him in. cute he looks. Okay, now what was my plan on this side? I think we'll go with that guy. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm just going to wipe this off so it's ready for me to use. DIY paint wipes right off once you activate it with water. So now that's nice and clean and ready. This I need to, I need water again. I'm running out of containers. It's just water. I think he's going to look super cute right here. Look like a mama and a little baby. Okay, same deal. We are going to mist this paper or this plastic, sorry. My mister is almost out of water. And I need a smaller brush. There we go. Like I said before, you don't have to be perfectly precise with this. You just want to get the bulk of it covered so that you don't have any issues with him kind of disappearing on the background because you can see the background through him.
Okay, same idea. We're going to put some clear patina down here. Just like we did initially. Then we're going to grab our little bunny. And then just peel that plastic back. Perfect. Another coat of your decoupage medium. And remember, this is also sealing in your transfer. There you go. A cute little spring sign out of little bits of a decoupage paper, a decor transfer, and a cedar shingle. Oh, and a napkin. That was napkin. Okay, so this is all dry now. And the only thing I decided I wanted to do is put some little white like speckles because they just give it that little bit of extra. So I'm just looking for a brush. I think this one will work. And I've got my water in here or my white paint in here. So I'm just going to add water and make like a kind of a white slurry. Just experiment here. Oh, that's pretty. Thanks so much for joining me today as we made these little cedar shingle decoupage and transfer little spring signs. I think this one's kind of a spring sign. Turned out pretty good. The two little bunnies are from the, the new spring decoupage paper by Lexi Grenzer. It's a recycled decoupage paper. It's called Baby Animals. And these little bits of greens in the background, those are from IOD's Whispering Willow transfer. And a napkin, the little pink is a napkin. So thanks for joining me and I hope you guys have a great day.